If you are an administrator of an entity or federal organization in SAM.gov, you can grant and change roles for others in your organization. In this video for administrators, you will learn about the roles in SAM.gov, how administrators manage role requests, and how administrators can use the user directory to assign roles or make bulk updates. In SAM.gov, roles are sets of privileges or permissions that are assigned to user accounts that allow you to access certain types of data and to perform certain tasks. Roles are granted by the administrators of an organization, not by GSA. Role privileges are different for federal and non-federal users and also different for each domain. Before we learn about role management, let's explain domains. Domains are functional areas as seen here on the home page. They roughly map to legacy federal award systems we have retired. For example, the legacy system called Wage Determinations Online or WDOL.gov is now the Wage Determinations domain. The legacy system called Federal Business Opportunities or FBO.gov is now the Contract Opportunities domain. Each domain allows you to search for, view, report on, or modify different types of data. When you, as an administrator, assign a role or approve a role request in a domain, you provide access to data associated with that domain and provide users the ability to perform tasks in the award lifecycle in SAM.gov. As an administrator of an entity, Assigning roles provides users in your organization the ability to view and manage your entity data, like renewing a registration or submitting a service contract report. When someone registers an entity in SAM, they are automatically assigned the Entity Administrator role. An Entity Administrator can grant the Administrator role to another user. We recommend that you assign more than one Administrator for your entity to ensure continuous access and the management of your entity registration. If you are a federal user and want to access a federal role, you must set up your SAM.gov profile using your .gov or .mil email address. Federal users are required to provide details about their federal organization before completing the account signup and requesting roles. If you are a non-federal entity administrator, or a federal administrator, one way to give people roles is to approve or reject their role requests. Users in your organization can send you requests for roles. To view role requests, sign in and select requests from the menu bar at the top of the page. Here you can view a list of received requests. In the requests workspace, you can use filters to locate certain requests and you can sort requests by date. Once you locate the request you want to review, select it. You will see the details of the request. If you would like to approve the role request, select Approve. If you decide to reject the role request, you are required to enter an explanation in the message field, then select Reject. Users are notified when the role request is assigned or rejected. Another way administrators can give people roles is to assign roles directly to users they administer. Navigate to your workspace and select the user directory. Here you can view a list with all users with roles within your organization. Search and filter the list using the menu on the side to find a specific user or narrow the list to a certain group of users. Besides, each user entry is an Actions drop-down menu. Select this menu to either assign a role or view the access of a specific user. The user must accept the role to complete the process. Non-federal administrators can also invite users without roles to accept a role assignment, even if they do not have a SAM.gov account set up. Federal administrators can only assign roles to users who are in their organization and already have a SAM.gov account. 
In the user directory, select the Assign Role button at the top of the page. Enter the email address of the user you would like to assign a role to, as well as the other required information. Then select Send Invitation. When you send a role invitation to someone who does not already have a role within your entity, the system will send the user an email with instructions on how to respond to it. If they do not have a SAMDOCGOV account, they are instructed on how to create one and how to accept their role once they are logged in. If they already have a SAMDOCGOV account, they are prompted to accept the role the next time they sign in. Back at your user directory results list is the list Actions drop-down menu. Here you will find options to download your list of users in either CSV or PDF format. And you can also perform a bulk update to a group of users. You can start a bulk update by selecting it from the Actions menu above your user directory search results. You can also find the Bulk Update option from your main workspace area on the User Directory widget. Start a Bulk Update by entering the organization code or name for the users you want to update. Then select the role, then the domain. You may select multiple domains if needed. The system displays a list of users who match your selections. You can then select all users or just certain users whose access you want to modify. Next, choose which permissions for each domain you would like to add or remove. You are required to provide a comment when changing permissions. Then select Next. On the summary page, confirm the changes you will see a plus sign next to the permissions added and a minus sign next to permissions removed. There will also be a check mark next to unchanged permissions. When ready, select Done. Thank you for watching this video about role management. Remember, you can search the Federal Service Desk Knowledge Base for additional videos and frequently asked questions, or get help with technical issues at fsd.gov. To provide GSA feedback about features, functionalities, or the user experience in SAM.gov, click the Feedback button located at the bottom of each page.